Discovering Density. This video is meant to explain the procedures for the lab Discovering Density. When scientific observations and measurements are made, sometimes patterns and trends emerge and relationships among different variables become evident. One of the best ways to recognize the existence of relationships involving numerical data is to plot the data on a graph. The mass and volume of five gold or silver colored metal samples will be measured. Mass is measured directly using a balance. The volume of an irregularly shaped solid, however, cannot be measured directly. Instead, its volume is measured by an indirect method called water displacement. The initial volume of a given amount of water is measured using a graduated cylinder. The solid is then carefully added to the water in the graduated cylinder and the new, final volume is recorded. The volume occupied by the solid must be the same as the volume of the water that has been displaced and is therefore equal to the difference between the final and initial volumes. The purpose of this experiment is to plot mass and volume data for a set of metal objects on a graph and to determine the relationship between these measurements. The trend that is revealed and its application will be analyzed and used to identify the substance. You will find in your lab basket a sample of a metal that appears to be silver colored or a sample of metal that appears to be gold colored and you will also find five weighing dishes already labeled for you. You will also need a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder which you can find in your lab drawer. The first thing you'll do is you will divide your metal sample into five unequally sized batches. You will then need to find the mass of each batch. To find the mass, place the empty weighing dish on the scale. Press the on button to tear the scale. Tear means to re-zero the scale so that the weighing dish does not factor into the mass of your metal sample. Place the batch of metal back into the weighing dish and record the mass into your data table. The mass of the first sample belongs under the column heading mass in the sample number one row. Repeat this process for all five samples. You will then find the volume of each of the five samples next. To do this, Start by adding approximately 10 milliliters of water to the graduated cylinder. You will measure the volume of the water to the nearest tenth of a milliliter, and then you will record that volume with units in the data table in the spot indicated right here. Leave that water in the graduated cylinder, and then tilt the graduated cylinder and gently let the first batch of metal slide into the graduated cylinder without too much splashing. You'll measure this new volume to the nearest tenth of a milliliter and record this volume with units in the data table in the spot indicated by the yellow arrow. This is the final volume for sample number one. It does not actually equal the volume of the sample itself. Don't pour out the water or the metal at this point. You'll use this new volume as the initial volume for sample number two. So the volume you just recorded in this spot will now be the initial volume you will use for sample number two. So those two numbers here and here will be the same exact number.
You'll then tilt the graduated cylinder and gently let the second batch of metal slide into the graduated cylinder without too much splashing. You'll measure this newest volume to the nearest tenth of a milliliter and record this volume with units in the data table under the final volume column next to sample number two. The volume you just recorded here will now be the initial volume you will use for sample number three. Again, you will not pour out the water or the metal sample. So this volume will now be the new initial volume. To find the volume, you'll continue that process for the rest of the samples. To find the volume of the, each of the five samples, in the final column labeled volume of the sample, you'll take the final volume and subtract the initial volume, and that number will equal the sample volume. When you're done, cleanup includes drying off your metal sample. Please do not put it back into its container without drying off all of the pieces. Wipe up your table to make sure there's no mess left behind. Put everything back in the basket and return the basket to the cart. Make sure you find out from your teacher which post lab questions you will need to answer and the specifics on how to construct the, the graph of your data. That's it. Thanks for watching.